Boom. What's up, Mary? We're live. We're live. That's what we're doing. I don't know. I may need to find a better spot. Hang on a minute. I don't like my spot. Uh, da -da -da. Driving around the parking lot. I don't know if I'm going to like this spot any better, but uh, maybe. I don't know. There we go. There we go. Maybe a little better. Maybe. Clue sniffer, what's up? Let me adjust this. Uh, yeah, I'm out hunting today. Uh, right now, I'm actually at Michael's. I got to replenish some foam supplies. What's up, Matthew? So, what's up, Jeanette? So, that's what I'm doing right now at the moment. So, yeah. Well, no, I'm not actually going to be out hunting during the live stream. Right now, I'm just waiting on some stuff to open up. Damn. <laughs> Dean, starting with the questions early. I think I talked about this the other day on Tuesday night. The old black and whites. That's my favorites. Frankenstein. Wolfman. Mummy. Belly Lagosa stuff. That's my favorites. It is. What's up, Lar? Miguel, how you doing? Yeah, it is Halloween. I went by Starbucks this morning. Nice, Matthew. What's up, Luke? Universal Key, how you doing? Uh, yeah, it was uh, it was windy here the other day. Um, I think it was yesterday. I actually had a tree get blown down across my driveway, so... I was out at 3.30 in the morning, leaving. Or I got up at 3, so I was leaving. About, it was about 4, about 4.30. I was heading to work and backed out of the garage and turned around, and there's a tree that crossed my driveway. So at 4.30 in the morning, I was clearing a tree. <laughs> I was clearing a tree that fell across my driveway. What a way to start the morning. <laughs> Lumberjacking at 4.30 in the morning. Using the headlights of the car. David, what's up? I'm doing well. Using the headlights of the car. Boom. Hey. That's right. I, I, I hate this time thing. I wish they would just leave the time alone at least this year. We don't need dark in the morning and dark at, in the afternoon with everything else that's going on right now. Let's not just, let's not change the time. Let's just leave it to where we have sunshine. Boom. You know, right, Matthew? It's, uh, it's different. It's a different approach. <laughs> so, yeah. But yeah, I needed to, um, come over here to Michael's and grab me some more foam. Come to the Tropic. I'm all about that. If I, I mean, honestly, I, I say this to my wife a lot, that we just need to buy an island in the Philippines. That did save tons of money. What's up, Darren? Happy Halloween. I just think, honestly, that with depressing as this year's been, the last thing people need is darkness. <laughs> I've been through monsoons. I lived in I lived in Japan for a year, so I've been through monsoons. Monsoons are they're interesting. They're very interesting to say the least. <laughs> so I've been putting pins on my on my 
badge that I use to get into work. Look, I've been putting, I've been putting my flare, I've been getting my flare on. Got to carve two pumpkins tomorrow. Nice. South Puerto Rico. Okay. Yeah, it's definitely upside down. Happy Halloween to you all as well. I don't mind darkness, but I'm just saying, I mean, why add anything to an already, let's just be honest, sucky year? <laughs> let's put a little glimmer of, of pardon the, the pun, sunshine. Because, <laughs> I mean, it's it's nice. It's, it's blue skies today. I mean... I mean, it's nice. I mean, I mean, look. Let's see if it'll do it. Look at this. I mean, look. This is nice. You know, sunshine, vitamin D. It makes everything better. You know, just saying. Just let's skip it. Let's skip it this year. Skip the time change. It's uh, 41 now. It was like 36 this morning or 38. Yeah, Charlie, I think I think we were 38 up here too. It was somewhere in that neighborhood, but it's 41 now. Yeah, this parking lot, the things that we have around this little, so where, where Michael's is at, there's like a Kirkland's and Rock Creek, World Market, TJ Maxx. Toys R Us used to be right there. used to be now it's electronics express i miss toys r us that's why i'm a little envious of, of uh, the the folks up in canadia because they still got toys r us up there right yeah i mean it's i don't man Darren, i don't even know what to say I really don't. I truthfully don't. I'm at a loss for words when it comes to this stuff. But if you follow me on Instagram, you will have noticed that I posted where I completed my contact tracing certification. Um, no, I'm not doing it, but I wanted to educate myself because I'm tired of hearing everything else. I wanted to officially go through some kind of training that helped me understand. And to be perfectly honest with you, um, they should have used what they, they taught in the training to inform people because then I think people would understand better. So... I know, right, Charlie? It's like I'm I'm it's crazy how much you miss something when it's gone. Nice. That's my hometown. Cle Cle Vegas, as we call it. Street dated. Ooh. Gotta love the street date. I'm still I'm still on the hunt for some more of the venom wave, venom pool wave. I haven't had much luck. And I'm trying to find, so I'll go over some stuff here in a minute. So I'm trying to find some of the imperialist Mandalorians because what's funny is uh those seem to fly off the, the, the one the one display that we had more than the other ones did, and I don't understand why. More than Asuka, more than the 332nd, more than the mile one. It's weird. What's up, Sizzle? We're just chilling in a parking lot, man. Hanging out. Hanging out. Talking. <laughs> Chit chatting. Telling stories, yarns. 
your hidden range trooper. Is it the uh, is it the holiday one, Charlie? What's up, Ren? What? No. Are you serious, Darren? Sean Connor? No. Dang it to hell. Sorry. Oh, man. It's like my favorite actor of all time. Nice, Ren. The Santa looking. Okay. I was wondering when, because when you talked about, you know, hot, you know, street date, and I was trying to figure, I thought that might be what you was talking about. Thinking about buying a firearm. Well, I'm going to ask you the question, why? Best 007 ever. Best everything. 90, man. That's, that's. Oh, yeah, right. Jane, man. I, man, I loved all of his movies. I don't think I ever seen a movie I did not like him in. I grew up with him. I mean, I've watched everything. Like, here's a good, like, here's a good example. Like the movie, The Rock with uh, Nicolas Cage. If Sean Connery hadn't been in that movie, that mo movie would have totally blown. <laughs> He's the only thing to save that movie. <laughs> right? Yep. Last Crusade. Wow. Just something. I think one of the favorite, I loved him in The Untouchables. That was such a good movie. I loved him in that one. Like I said, best James Bond ever. I always thought it'd be cool if they would have brought him back somehow into the newer James Bond movies, like with Daniel Craig and stuff. Do you like My Little Pony Friendship is Magic? <laughs> what? <laughs> Hunt for Red October. Single ping, please. <laughs> Doctor, no, that's a good one, too. Well, it's, that's sad. Universal Key, you are right. That was a really good Um, Today, I'm still looking for some more of the... Um, um, Venom Pool Wave, um, looking for any kind of the new Clone War stuff. I did pick up some uh, the other day, but I wouldn't mind trying to find an Imperialist uh, Mando. Hey, you know what? I got, I got no hate for My Little Ponies. First Night, that was a good one. What's up, Rob? Yeah, the, the, remember the thorn... Oh, it's never healed. <laughs> or that part like, do you want to sign this? There's your answer. <laughs> I loved him in I loved him in the league. I loved him in that one. Alan Quartermain. Yes. Just great movies. Um Highlander was another good one. Um he was actually in a movie that I really liked. And I'm trying to remember the name of it, but it was with Katha Zeta Jones. He was a thief. And I can't. It's, I, the movie title thing was just one word, but he was teaching her how to steal uh, some artwork or something. That was a really good one. Look at us. Found Harley Quinn. What's up, Matthias? Entrapment. Yes, Charlie. That's it. That was a good movie too. That was a real good movie. <laughs> uh, Matias might get mad at me. I went to his Starbucks. With Wesley Snipe. Not the movie I'm talking about with Catherine Zeta Jones. What's up, Christina? Oh, the one over. By Target. Very true. Going to build a Lego today. What you going to build? Well, if you're there, come over here. I'm at Michael's. 
Nerdy Nisi, what's up? Uh, ba 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 ba. Oh, nice. Wrestling. You're looking for a wrestling movie. Oh, uh oh. I hear I hear the fire trucks or ambulance or ambulances. <sighs> Rising Sun. That was good too. God, I hadn't seen that one in forever. I didn't do it. I think that's a fire truck. Yep, fire truck. Chattanooga's finest. No, I, I just went to Starbucks. I had a craving for a uh, Frappuccino. No whip. 30 degrees outside and I get a cold Frappuccino. I wonder where he's going. Look at Krispy Kreme. There's a place, It's I think it's close to over here. Um, Matthias knows Duck Donuts, I think is what it's called. Queen's Gambit. Oh, my God. If you've not watched Queen's Gambit on Netflix, you've got to watch it. It's only seven, is it seven or eight episodes, but you've got to watch Queen's Gambit. It is phenomenal. But I mean, it will it will suck you in. I'm 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 just saying. I want the green and I want the green and white pill. That's all I'm saying. I want the green and white one. <laughs> what episode are you on, Matthias? Because I finished it. You know, I think you do crave it more in the winter. Halo, Black Series, Multi. Nice, Eli. Yep. Uh, Mandalorian. Um, if anybody has not seen it yet, I really don't want to spoil it because some people don't watch it day of. I mean, I didn't watch it till last night. So, I don't want to spoil it for anybody. Um... But it did have a very good first episode for season two. Very good. But seriously, if you have Netflix, watch Queen's Gambit. I'm telling you. But I didn't see yet. Matthias, did you already post it? What episode are you on? Are you on the fire truck right there? False alarm. <laughs> Man, we got 50, 50 something people in here already. <clears throat> All right. Do you like fifth episode? Okay, so you're 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 only you only like two or three more left to go. Okay. It's just a good, it's a good show. Need to break out the cowboy hat. I got mine right there. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I got, I got my book with me today. Got my book with me today. So I want to show you something. I normally keep this one in my work laptop bag but check it out dcpi numbers <laughs> so this is my my little sheet here and so this way i pre-ordered all, all four figures and of course the dates have been pushed back i think till december 1st or december 8th um so now I'm making little notes on which ones I've actually picked up because I'm I'm seriously thinking it would not surprise me if my Walmart pre-orders got canceled. It would not surprise me one bit. So now I've got a dilemma. I've already picked up another uh, Asuka. 
I've gotten one 332nd, and I've gotten one mall. Now, here's what I pre-ordered. One, one Asuka, three of the 332nd, which I have no idea why I just got three. Such a weird number. Three of the Imperialist. It might have only let me do three. Maybe that's what it was. Three of the Imperialist uh, Troopers and two of the Maul Troopers. That's what I pre-ordered. And they were all set to arrive like the 332nds was 10-1, Maul was 10-3, Imperialist was 11-3, and Azuka was 11-3. I wrote it down. I literally, when I pre-ordered, I mean, I wrote it down when they were supposed to deliver. I also pre-ordered the Venomized Cap, which was supposed to ship out on 9-1. So now I'm literally at a crazy dilemma right now is as I've started to think, I'm just going to start picking up some if I see them, like, like I said, but I'm not going to go crazy. Like I need to find another 332nd. That'd give me two. I need to find at least some of the imperialist ones. I've got, I've got a mall. It's one of those. So I don't know. That's just, it's just crazy. So now that you in, in my brain, my book. Holy butt crackers that Jeep come in. Dang. I mean, she came in hot. Um, you can find them on the interwebs. Usually you can go like um, Target's websites, places like that, and do the more info, and boom, it'll show them right there. Look, let me talk about those, those three and three quarter new ones. Uh, if you watch my video from yesterday, I found a Mando one, a Cara, a Death Trooper, but it blew my mind that those were 17 bucks a piece. And I know they're carbonized, blah, blah, blah. And I know the six inch ones are 25 bucks a piece. So there's lots of money going out. But it's still hard for, I mean, it's hard to pay 25 bucks for a six inch, don't get me wrong. But it's really hard to pay almost 20 bucks for a three and three quarter. That is like, that's crazy. The Mandalorian Loyal, loyal it's this one, hang on. It's that one right there, boom. I bring visual aids. Um, but I also have the latest and I'm going to give you a little tip. It is insane. I mean, that's crazy. Um, if you shop at GameStop, have them print out pre-order sheets. They'll do it for you. So I've got four pages of pre-order sheets that I got last week. And so what I do is I'll go through and highlight, you know, which ones I pre-ordered. Like I went ahead and pre-ordered the next three of the street art pops because they're up for pre-order right now. I don't think it's worth 17 plus tax. I mean, it's a great looking figure. All of them. I mean, I, 100%. They're wonderful looking, but maybe we're looking. I guess she didn't like her parking spot. Maybe we're looking at a new trend. I don't know. Maybe six inch figures are going to start going up from 19 bucks to 24 bucks. I don't know. But. I'm telling you right now, if they increase three and three quarters up to that 1784 range, like across the board, I don't think even I don't think even the most hardcore three and three quarter collectors could really really handle that, honestly. But anyway, getting back to this. So if you shop at GameStop, now these are all Funko Pops. 
uh, that are up for pre-order right now. This is pre-order uh, number 46 is the actual right there, pre-order number six. And usually what I'll do is I'll put, this is just me. So what I'll do is I'll put a little legend up here, PO for pre-order, and I'll put the date, and then I put a PO right here and highlight it. So that lets me know what I've got pre-ordered. But as of right, as of 1022, when this was printed, there was four, four pages of pops. <laughs> I mean, four full pages of pops available for pre-order at GameStop right now. I mean, I'm just like, wow. And some of them, I don't even know. I, I mean, I'm like, I, I, I got nothing. But I did get the, uh, there are some, um, there are some icons that's coming out that I'm actually really thinking about doing. I haven't pre-ordered them yet, but you got the Coke ones. And come on, man. Spam. <laughs> Oscar Mayer Wiener Ride. I know my buddy Matias is going to be all over that one. Uh, da, da, da. There's also... Um, where are they at? Also got the uh, Clone Wars Asuka. There's two of them. There's the regular one, and then there's a GameStop exclusive. I got the exclusive pre-ordered. Got Pet Shop Boys. I mean, Fantasia, Blade Runner. I mean, there's just, golly bum, there's just a ton of Got a, if you're in the tennis, I didn't even know this. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tennis legend pops coming out. Got Bjorn Borg, John McEnroe, Maria, Nick, Raphael, Roger, and Venus Williams. A uh, bunch of Starship Trooper ones. So, yeah. A bunch of Transformers, the boys, just lots of pops, <laughs> lots of pops are coming out. They're available for pre-order right now. But again, so we got Coca-Cola can, Coca-Cola bottle cap, Hostess donuts, Kool-Aid original packet, and the spam can. Hey, Oscar Mayer Wiener. That's for a ride. Uh, got a town coming out. Big Bob's Big Boy Restaurant. So, yeah. But anyway, it's a, it's a neat little tip. Go to GameStop right here and, and tell them to print you off a pre-order sheet. And that way, you'll it, it helps try to keep an idea of what's coming out. Um, the pops I focus on mainly are pops that I think would be cool to photograph. Honestly, that's uh, that's that's the way I I do this. Oh, and I also wanted to show you some of the way my mind works too. When I do my drawings for dioramas. Like this is that big diorama that I'm really disappointed in. This is my drawing for it. So I actually do, before I build dioramas, I actually do draw them out. So there you go. A little bit inside the brain, the brain of Greg. Yeah. I mean, it's not pretty sometimes, but it's, it's, it is what it is. 
But yeah, that was just a little, I thought I'd just show you that little, and get a book. Books are nice. Write down your ideals, write down your thoughts. <laughs> so it can be scary being in my brain. It really can. I'm expecting any minute to get a brain freeze from this. Mm. That's a good one. Toy cop, that's a good one. It's right. Get them thumbs up going. Believe it or not, it helps the algorithm. So they say. <laughs> um, oh, something else I want to talk about. So, let's talk about BrickSeek. So, opened up BrickSeek this morning, and there was a notification popped up. And it basically said, it was a pretty long notification, but it basically said, we are aware of the inventory discrepancies with Walmart. We are working on the problem and trying to correct it. That interested me because I don't think I've ever seen that type of notification come up. Uh, yes, I do. I'm actually planning on going to Best Buy today. I've not been to Best Buy in a hot minute, like probably a couple of months. So, but yeah, I've never seen uh, the notification that they're aware of uh, inventory discrepancy issues. So that might explain why um, Brick Seek is showing like nothing for Walmart. So, yeah. It's still messed up. <laughs> According to that notification, uh, it's still messed up. But again, here's the thing we have to do. Here's the thing we got to do. We can't take it out on the employees. I had, a, I had a person, um, I think it's a comment, I think, uh, how, do I, how do I get employees uh, or associates, how do I get along with them so good? And I told them how I approach it. And I'll tell you guys how I approach it. It's, it's actually really simple. Um, I don't go into Walmarts and tar Targets and immediately just go to associates and be like, hey, where's this stuff at? Um, I try to build a rapport with associates that have nothing to do with toys. I mean, even if I go to a Walmart or a Target, and even if I even if I'm not looking for anything, like say I'm just or there's nothing on Brick Seek or something like that, I'm just doing a normal toy hunt. I'll still go to the associates that I, I and say good morning to them. You're doing a great job. Thank you. You know. And then it, it might be a month might go by. And then I'll ask an associate for something. So if you go in there, for lack of a better term, balls out looking for something, you got your phone out and it says this. Of course, you're not going to get any good rapport. But if you go in and over time build that rapport, that's when you get results. Now, like I said in the videos last week, uh, Garrett, I had never met Garrett before. Uh, that day that I posted that video where he was trying to help me, that was the first time I'd met him. And uh, I was taken to him by another associate. And, you know, I, I showed him uh, the, the, the DCPI number and he looked, he looked it up in his handheld device 
and he immediately, we went to the toy aisle. I didn't interrupt him or anything like that. I let him do his thing. And once we got there and we talked a little bit more, I said, you know what? I said, I don't think this is going to be a peg item. I think it's going to be a display. So I didn't like tell him his job. I suggested it. And he goes, okay, well then let's go back up to where we were at because they had pallets everywhere. I mean, literally there was toy boxes back in the paint section. It was crazy how many pallets. Um, he looked around, boom, boom, boom. And, you know, he came out and he said, man, I'm sorry. I just, I can't find anything, you know? He said, try back maybe in a day or two. He said, as you can see, you know, we've got pallets everywhere. And I, I, I'll be honest with you, I've never seen that many pallets in, in that many in aisles before. It was crazy. So, uh, you know, it's not his fault. You know, it's not his fault. So, and it, I know you get frustrated, but at the end of the day, it's still just a daggum toy. That's all it is, you know? <laughs> whoop de do it's just a toy but if you want to build rapport with these people these employees first and foremost you got to put yourself in their shoes i've never worked at a walmart or a target and i'm telling you right now there's nothing easy about retail nothing so don't go in there you know, acting a fool and getting all mad and been out of shape. Now, I frequent all of these Walmarts and Targets a lot. I don't just hunt one day a week. I mean, I hunt at least three days a week, you know. And I know there's people out there that work in these, these, these stores and they'll grab figures up. I had another person reached out to me. Thanks, Jared. Um, see, me and Jared has been working together because he's been talking to an associate there. Um, and I know there's employees that buy figures and I know that they'll take them and resell them. That happens. I get it. But let me ask you this simple question. If you worked at a Walmart or a Target, and if you, who you are right now, would you not buy them if you could? I'm not saying resell them, but would you not buy them if you could? I say, yes, you would, because I would. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, duh, you know? No, see, Christopher, it's not the scalpers. It's not the flippers. It's us that pay the prices. That's what's doing it. Don't buy it. If you see, um, let's say, um, I mean, the, a new Mandalorian figure, the stuff, the uh, Asuka right now, the 332nd, the mall, those figures, if you can't find them in the store, but yet you see it on eBay for 50 bucks, why are you paying 50 bucks for it? You're supporting it. So it's not that person's fault that you're going to buy it for 50 bucks. I mean, because <laughs> every single one of us, if we could, would make double our money off anything we have. Anything. Toy cop, yeah. I mean, but buying stuff like this has been around forever. It's not just toys. True trading cards, comic books, coins, stamps, everything. You know, but if you, if you want to solve the problem, 
I know that there was a lot of people uh, when the new Clone Wars figures hit, you were seeing pictures all over social media. People had buggies full, you know, like literally were buying all of them. And there was one that really stuck out at me because it just goes to prove. Now, I don't know the person, but I have to take it for face value. The person put in the comment that it something along the lines, this was the first time he was able to army build in one day. You know? And you could see he had, I think, four, four of the 332nd. I think he had four or he had a bunch of the, the other one. The mall had like one Asuka, you know? You could definitely tell that it's it's a an army, you know, or I could. And he just got hammered by so many comments. Oh, you're going to be scalping these. You're going to be selling these for double the value. And no one had any evidence that that's what he was doing. None. So just because you buy multiples doesn't mean you're going to flip them. But if I go buy four of a figure and I throw three of them up on eBay or Macari or a Facebook group and I put double the price on it and you buy it, is it my fault or is it your fault that it was double? I just threw it out there and put a price on it. I see it all the time. I've paid double for something. Right? Right? Toys are us. <sighs> Canada. <laughs> I'm not going to say they're bums. I'm going to say that it's, it's basically in a nutshell, it's free enterprise. It's free enterprise because, all right, let's think about this for a minute. So where I live to drive to here, where I'm at right now is about 35, 40 minutes, right? So if I take and I buy a $20 figure Let's do some simple math here. And, and I want you to do this yourself. Take what you make an hour for your job. Calculate how much money it costs you based on your wages that you make per hour at your job to drive to a Walmart or Target. Okay? Now calculate how much gas you spent to get to that Walmart or Target and then calculate the amount for the figure. Now, that $20 figure could and realistically turn out to be a $30 figure, a $40 figure. So, I mean... There's all kinds of ways to spin it. There's all kinds of ways of spinning it. Um, I personally don't ever think about that because I enjoy going out hunting. I enjoy the videos. I enjoy all of it. It's relaxation for me. But if I was a person that, say for instance, let me ask you a, a, let me ask you a serious question here. We have flea markets in our area. Right, and there's a lot of people have booze in flea markets, and you can find a lot of times newer stuff in these booths. Now, that person that's running that flea market booth has went to Walmart or Target, they have bought a toy, paid retail for it. You get it back to their booth, and they might be a five dollar markup on it. Is that person a scalper or a flipper? Or is that person a retailer? 
apples, oranges. So the main thing is you have to make the decisions on whether or not you're going to spend that kind of money because of FOMO. Ren said it earlier. That's what causes everything. The old FOMO. Sizzle, you're right. Somebody's gonna buy it. So I tell I tell here's a little thing that I do every single morning and every single night. There's one person in the entire world that you can't BS, and that's yourself. Right? So every single morning, you know, we go into the bathroom, brush our teeth, blah, blah, blah. And I always look myself in the mirror and I say, hey, Greg, you need to try to be the best person you can be today. When I get home in the evenings, take a shower, brush my teeth, blah, blah, blah. I ask myself, Greg, were you the best person you can be today? Sometimes I can answer yes. Sometimes I answer no. Rock and pop vinyls. There you go. Sell toys, buy more toys. You know? <laughs> Mr. Roger. <laughs> I don't know about that. This is, I don't know. I see too many people get really seriously bent out of shape. And I don't understand it. I truthfully do not understand it. It's just a toy. That's all it is. Just a toy. We can't have them all. Not unless you're stupid rich. I'm not stupid rich. You calling me Captain Kangaroo? Captain Kangaroo was cool. I like Captain Kangaroo. That's a good show. <laughs> but I don't know. Like I said, it's uh, there's a lot of cool stuff out there. There really is. And I totally get it. But I just don't understand how you, people get so bent out of shape. I really don't. Really don't. Oh, wow. Now, I will say this, Darren, Jeanette, folks that are across the old, the old pond, here in the States, from based on what I understand, we are, we have it so much better. So much better. We got Walmarts and Targets and blah, blah, blah. I mean, it's just, I mean, I see comments all the time. I wish we had that here. I wish we had that here. I wish we had this over there. So I'm telling you right now, uh, from what I understand, Darren, yeah, you know, you guys can correct me, but I think the struggles, the struggles overseas are a whole lot worse than here in the States when it comes to toys. I mean, so I, I'm just saying, if you're here in the States, I don't think you got much to gripe about. I truthfully don't. And I think our prices are probably better too, because to get all this stuff sent over, it's going to jack the price up. <laughs> just like... We in the States seriously wish we had Toys R Us. <laughs> so I personally, uh, I can't remember who it was. Oh my goodness. I wish I, oh my goodness. This person sent me photos, photos from their Toys R Us in Canada. Holy crap, the amount of stuff. I, I literally almost lost my flipping mind. I mean, they went through, they sent me like, I don't know, half a dozen photos. Like the Mr. Doom that's in that black and white, the, the retro one. They was probably 15 of them lined up on the shelves. Ben and Pool Ways, Star Wars. I'm just like, what? 
Wow. I would have loved to have been in Canada. And yes, I am saying that on purpose. <laughs> Canada. <laughs> so there's an advantage that we don't have here. And, and, and especially in my area. Now, I think there's still some torture us across the United States. But when, when they sent me those pictures, I literally just about lost my flipping mind. Thinking, how cool would it be? I can't. Canada is a long way, and the borders are closed. I can't get across. I saw something the other day. So I watched this, this show on YouTube, uh, Ben Elliott, and uh, it's a prank show. Elliot Giles, Ben Elliott. <laughs> Test, I think it's, is it Tesco or test? Oh, test, it's not Tesla. I think it's Tesco. Correct me if I'm wrong, Darren. But they were walking through it. It's, it's almost like a grocery store type thing. And they were walking through. And first time ever, I seen a, a pop display at the end of the aisle. And I was pausing it, rewinding it, pausing it because I was trying to see what the pops were on that display. I tried for 30 minutes and I still could not make out. I was screen grabbing and I could not make out what they were. And <laughs> I was just like, because it was the first time I'd ever seen, because uh, they're always doing pranks inside that store. And they went around a corner and the guy doing the filming, and there's this pop display. And I was just like, what is that? Uh, ooh. Now, if you got friends in Japan, ooh, I'd be afraid if I had friends in Japan, especially when it comes to hot toys, I'd be afraid. Yeah, Jeanette, thank you, because I, I sort of know what they look like. I just couldn't make it out. But I thought that was cool to see that for the first time in their videos. But I watch them like all the time. Their pranks are stupid. They're not near as good as they used to be. Because now they're staged. And they're staged bad. But my God, they get the views. They get the views like crazy. Um, so yeah, I'm a little, I'm a little envious of the Canadians. I am not gonna lie. You got Toys R Us. I don't. I've got an Electronics Express. That's what I got. The Halo figures. So I've actually not picked any of those up. Uh, I, I like my new, I like my Mandalorian figure that I got. Um, so I was looking on Facebook the other day and they posted um, some figures because I know Ryan had talked about it in Six Scale News about the speeder bike and the Mandalorian. And I was talking in our group that I had some concerns with it because of the, the support structures. If Toys R Us comes back, oh snap, that was a harsh statement just came through Messenger. I was like, what? <laughs> that was a bomb. Um, uh, I like my Mandalorian that I just picked up. I really liked it. I'm I'm not gonna get the one on the speeder bike. I'm 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 not buying twenty different Mandalorians. I'm just I'm not. That to me is just not financially sound. That that makes no sense to me. Now, if I sold the Mandalorian I have now to buy another Mandalorian, okay, that makes sense. But uh, I did see the flight stand for the Razor Crest. That's actually a nice touch. Rocco the Great, what's up? Happy Halloween to you too. 
I personally don't think that should be a perk. I think that should have came with it originally for 350 bucks. Give me a flipping flight stand. Come on. <laughs> I still haven't ordered it. And to be honest with you, I, I don't know if I will because that's 350 bucks. I have not. Dime novel legend figure? No, I have not. Interesting. Interesting. I'll have to uh, keep my eye out for that. <laughs> yeah, the lighting on the laser crest, right? Lazy crest. <laughs> on the laser crest. Uh, I just watched the thing. Here's the crazy part. All right. And you guys are going to think I am literally probably the stupidest man on the planet right now. I personally am more excited about the Lego Razor Crest than I am the Hasbro Laser Crest. I, I, I just am. Um, and maybe it's because you build it. But they also just released a lighting kit for the Lego Razor Crest. And it's cheaper too just saying um i don't know it's um if i was that was a nice perk yeah but a fly stand for a perk come on for 350 bucks you could have included a flight stand for this product now i will say this I am not a three and three quarter guy. If I was a three and three quarter guy, I would be all over the razor crest, all over it. But since I'm not, and I'm not, I just can't buy something just to display it. I can't, that's not me, man. I've, I've got to get out and I got to do stuff with them. Oh, that's a good one, Charlie. Ooh, the 89 Batwing. But I'm if I if I get either one of them right now, the Lego Razor Crest is my number one between the two. Cause I, I like Lego. Lego's awesome. Uh, but I do agree that it would be cool, and I'm sure they'll come out with a um, a uh, lighting kit, and I'm sure it'd be easy to throw some lights on it. I mean, you can go like the Dollar Tree, pick up those LED light strips for a buck. I mean, you can make something. Bro, what that dude doing? Um, that wouldn't be that wouldn't be difficult. You could light it, but it looks great though. Three and three quarter star. No, I have not seen those at Target. Hmm. <laughs> this this lady just walked by. She walked all the way by, and she just got to her car, and she just put her sunglasses on. And she's like, right, hang on, wait a minute. Wait a minute, she might show up right there. There she is, right there. Boom. Um... Let's see. They should. Thank you. Oh, look. Don't even get me started on that snow speeder. I'm not trigger treating tonight. No. Um, don't get me started on that snow speeder. It looks great. I don't understand that at all. Do not understand that at all. I know 40th, blah, blah, blah. But if you're going to do a six-inch vehicle for Star Wars, the TIE Fighter they did was amazing. Oh, man. Sorry to hear that, Matthew. The TIE Fighter, that I, the one that I had that I destroyed and put in my backyard diorama is amazing. If you're going to do anything Star Wars, there's only two vehicles that truly come to mind that you should do. 
X-Wing fighter, Razor Crest. If you're going to do anything six inch, and I know if you did, if you did a Razor Crest six inch, that day I'm going to think probably four and a half, five foot long. I get it. I don't care. That'd be awesome. But a TIE fighter and an X-Wing, X-Wing would have made more, so much more sense than a snow speeder. Slave one would be a good choice, but not the snow speeder. Not the snow speeder, because honestly, unless you've got snow, you can't do anything. A walker would have made more sense than a snow speeder. But a walker would have been, oh my Lord, a walker would probably been four foot tall. <laughs> I just, I never understood the snow speeder. Never understood, never understood it. Oh, it would definitely, it'd be, it'd be like the size of a four wheeler in length. <laughs> yeah, Jared, you're right. It's because of the 40th. I, and I get that. It's just the, an X wing would make so much more sense to me anyway. But what do I know? The only thing I know is I've seen a lot of snow speeders on the secondary market, like eBay, Macari, blah, blah, blah. But now, detail-wise, they look great. They look amazing. Hasbro did a great job with them. I can just think of other things. I can think of other things that would have looked cool, cooler. Um, yeah. I didn't get it. I didn't understand it, but hey. <sighs> da -da -da. 18 by 24. Need an evil rose figure. There's a lot of figures we need. They take up a lot of space. They do. Now, I will tell you this. The X-Wing, when you chop it down and throw it out in your backyard, it don't take up space at all. <laughs> That's Chris. That you, you know, that's that's a good point. I, I'd say that's probably going to be a trend for probably the next eight years. Like every two years, you'll see like anniversary figures, and we'll all be like swamping them, getting them because the cards are looking good too. Because a lot of these things, you might want to get them and keep them on cards. You know, like the new the new figures with these new boxes, man, those those display so good in boxes. Sizzle. I'd be all over a six inch at that. All over it. I had a guy, let me let me squirrel on you a minute. Had someone ask me the other day why I passed on an at that driver. And he, and they said I thought you were an army builder. And I was sitting there thinking to myself, <sighs> How do you army build at at drivers? I mean, I've got two. I don't I, I don't really see that as being an army. Because they're inside the at at. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I just don't see an army of at at drivers. Me personally. <laughs> It'd be like having a you know, an army of TIE fighter pilots. No. Because they need a TIE fighter. Couple, yeah, but no. Not an army. But again, I'm not saying you can't army build out at drivers. That's what I'm thinking, Christopher. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm thinking. Uh... Why do I need four, Charlie? Explain to me why I need four at at drivers. I'm I'm all I, I'm all yours. Explain to me why I need four of them. I just got invited to a Stan Lee event. Cause what I truthfully need is an at at. <laughs> Cause that's the thing that sucks about getting figures that you don't have vehicles for. Two and a commander, okay. 
Agent Venom pops. Oh, oh well, okay. See, now, now we're making sense if you got two ad ads. But we need an ad ad. I don't, I don't know, Charlie. Was he? I mean, I know you have a driver and a gunner, right? I don't know. Now I know in uh, the one of the later ones that had the different ad ads. They was a commander. Then they had the two people there when they were all shooting at Luke. Hola. Uh, they was like bunch of people inside of that command thing but but did they but they they never made a commander at right they just made the at at driver so i guess you could paint one of them or create your own but the commander i don't wouldn't have the helmet i wouldn't think man it is so crazy the stuff we talk about so crazy now I have said this, or I've actually got it written down, is I've thought about trying to make an ad at uh, command cockpit piece. No legs, just the the like the cockpit part, and try to make that and possibly parts of the body uh, for a diorama piece. I do have that in my diorama, one of my diorama books. Cause it'd be easy. I think it'd be easy to make. So too much stuff going on in this head of mine. Not enough time. Man, you do 60 hours a week working. It's hard to find time to do things. Make a foot. Yeah. I mean, you don't got to make like everything. Dang, Charlie, they still pushing that thing? I think we're going to get a lot of pushback. I think, because like I said, they've been pushing back the Walmart stuff that was supposed to ship out on the 3rd. Now it's went into December. So, yeah. But guys, I think I'm going to wrap it up. I think I'm going to head into Michael's, grab my phone, then maybe run over to Best Buy. Um... Oh, nice, Ren. Uh, thank you all for hanging out with me this morning. As always, I appreciate it more than you could ever know how much I appreciate each and every one of y'all. There's 79 people in here, and it just makes my day. We got sunshine, and we got all you wonderful people. Um, thanks, Jared. Um, that just makes it all worthwhile. But I hope y'all have a great and safe Halloween. Um if you have children and, and if you get out trick-or-treating, please, you know, just be safe. Um, it is what it is, and we got to make the best of it. But I hope you guys have a, like I said before, great rest of the day. Hope you have a great rest of the week. And always remember, toys refresh your soul. And I'll see you guys next time.